Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. The reason why I'm being suspicious is I'm going to try to get some hummingbirds in here as I talk to you. Um, wanted to thank everyone for lounging today. And um, sorry, I'm really preoccupied, I guess. The reason why I look hideous and frazzled and sweaty and disgusting and I had to change my shirt a little bit ago, there's a reason, total reason. I'm wearing this thing that Kathleen got me, actually, Kathleen. I love it. It's wonderful. It's cold. You know how Bernadette was driving me to drink throughout the show? Maybe I'll go back to my regular place. I can't really function here. Just, let's see if we, let me try though. These hummingbirds have been extremely active. They even go to those chintzy little $1 feeders I have in the trees. Here's the healing tree, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like I'm being healed just being here. My yellow uh, bird feeder is, um, it went kaput. It fell down. We think a huge bird landed on it or something. Seriously. So I got one for a dollar at a garage sale. It's in there. It's huge. What the hell's going on? This is what it's like around here on Memorial Day weekend. Weirdos. And I'm normal and I just can't take it. Hold on. Back in my day, it was very crowded here. Um, it still was a little bit, but not nearly like it was because Connie Lake Park used to be the big draw. I worked over there, actually, and there were cars lined up literally for two miles. I'm, and I only say literally in a literal way. Sorry. Okay. Um, Bernadette, I let them out around four. I went ahead and ran the errands for Perpetch. He wanted some stuff for the garden for those who were there live. I had to go get a few more items. And I got a hanging plant. I'll show it to you. Uh, uh, yeah. So I got back from that. And Bernadette, she just was dying to go out, dying to go out. And so was Marie. And all I do is go to the kitchen and I lift up their little collars. And they just... I mean, they rub on each other. They go crazy. They knock heads. They give each other high fives with their little paws. It's just crazy. <clears throat> so, let them out about 4 o'clock. You can ask Karen Peterson. She'll back me up on this because I told her. I'm <laughs> like, I'm making it up. You have to ask Karen to see if it's true. Um, Kat did not come in until 10 to 7. I was in a panic. I was a nervous wreck. I mean, look at me. I look haggard, as in Merle Haggard, because I've been all over the property. It was humid out. Just sweat dripping off me wildly. Um, I even went and I lounged in Adna for a little bit with the doors open and such, thinking she might hear me in there and come running. Finally, about quarter to seven, ten to seven, I once again shook her um, some treats. They might be out here now. I put them in. And, that, and I said, dinner, it's time to eat, because they kind of eat between seven and eight. She came galloping. I was so upset with her, but I hugged her, and she got me all muddy. And I love her so. So she's exhausted, thank God. Zoe, I'm going to tell you about the cats. I don't know why, but I am. Zoe was mainly stayed under Edna today. Edna's my van for new people. And, oh, God, here comes one of those airplanes leaving farts. I'm so over it. Oh, um, she came out from Edna, and then she went back under Edna. And then the second time, I was calling her out, and she's moving real slowly, and she evidently kind of went under something that contained motor oil, ladies and gentlemen. It was very clear, though. It was very nice-looking oil in the van. I don't drive Edna a whole lot, so an oil change will last me a lifetime, pretty much. Not really. Last time he changed the oil, he said it was insane. I mean, the oil filter was about ready to explode and all this jazz. But anyhow, it's been changed. It's good. But I had to actually use Dawn dishwashing on... Um, on Zoe's back a little bit because I didn't know if I was comfortable with her like licking that clean. Yeah, she had an oily back for a while. And that was before I ran the errands. So she's exhausted. Everybody's eating now. Everybody's fine. Everybody's sleeping. Okay, now what else did I want to tell you? Yeah, three hours she was gone. I'm going to name the live loungers and um, maybe flip around and show you the new flower and such. Hummingbird. I know it's good. Hummingbird, don't fly away, fly away. ba 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 I'll see if I can do something, ladies and gentlemen. 
I really can't get over it. They have been in action all day long. In action. Well, I'll get up and tell you some stuff. First of all, see the where the birdhouse is now that I got that was on decoration? It's because it's the one that dropped to the ground wildly and broke into a million pieces. Not really a million. Mother's is fine. So it was just mine. And you know what? It could have been a raccoon or something because they're known for that jazz. In fact, I'm pretty sure a raccoon got over to Mom's and carried off some suet. Yeah, whole thing, whole basket. I hear them. I hear the birds of hummingness. Hold on. I'm going to get in this tree and just stand here. There's buckets here because the roof leaks still. Like the, um, oh, there's my new flower. You can see that over my shoulder. Oh my god, I hope this is in there. Look at him. Here, he's gonna come to the big one. Is he? Is he? I don't this oh darn. I think he might. I'm walking slowly to that Al Cheapo little feeder there. If I hold real still, I think he'll come. He's going to the big one. He's flying away. Hummingbird, don't fly away, fly away. Okay. Well, I, I hope that I kill myself in this damn thing. Here's my dollar bird feeder that I got. Nice, substantial yard sale. I've replaced the little yellow one. So we're in the healing tree, ladies and gentlemen. I just live for this healing tree. It's so bendy and different. And you've seen my flower now. Okay, I'm going to uh, name the live lounges. I figured I'll just prattle on incessantly since my... Well, actually, you can watch the live gig just without the chat. Um, hold on. Yes, it, um, like I'm able to go over. Somebody taught me how I think it was corn. No, it was recluse. What does he call himself? Reluctant recluse? I think it was him. To, or her. I think it's a he, though. Sorry, I don't know. Uh, told me the first time this happened that you go to the videos and you hit live streams. So I'm able to watch the show back, but not the chat won't go up. It won't all go up until uh, sometime in the middle of the night, and then in the morning I'll get up and watch it and read stuff back. Holy ghost, it's already 7 minutes and 48 seconds into this damn thing. <gasps> I said, damn. I can't get over the turnout of the lounge today. I mean, it was, look at this. This side, this side, new loungers whose names I couldn't see. I'll be able to see it tomorrow. Like, I'll be able to actually pause the phone and look and spell your name correctly. <sighs> Smoking in G-sharp, waiting there. Wrench was polished, as Watcher says. I'm going to polish my wrench. It's so cute. Ready to go. That smoking in G-sharp, up in smoke, was next. A lot of the smokers came in early. Uh, Nicholas, Aila, Kate, R.B., McGee, Mick, Gee, M.C., new word, G-E-E. -E. And there was something else before that. Hang on, I must clear my throat. I'm pausing, I'm pausing. Uh, Osama. Watcher, Smitty, Basil, Karen, Judy, Renee, Renee, another person I haven't, I don't think I've ever seen Renee before, welcome. Denise, Jilly, Elsewhere, Schultze, total Schultze, not partial. Buddy Bates, Vesper, Vegan Dolls, to whom we refer lovingly as VD. Uh, Mew Mew, Q, Janet, St. Tommy, Elbow88 was on the ball today answering a lot of the questions. Babblefish, that's Judith M. Villeneuve, Maine. BB Walls, BB Walls, Environmental Coffee House. Jackie Hauserman, which would be my mother. Baby Cakes. Corn. And he won a bonus question. I think corn's a he. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Forgive me if you're not. Jeremy Chase. Cloudy Sunshine and F417H. And TOS. See, I always put an exclamation there. I don't know why I just do. For TOS, because I'm excited to see him. I'm excited to see everyone, but it just seems to go real well with that. Oh, my God. I'm going to wind this up. Uh, wind him up. He can't stop. He's wound up tight. Okay, I saw that group in concert, Saga. I mentioned it at a game recently. I want to get down by 10. Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Join me. Join others. Drop your political identities. Let's focus on issues. Leave labels at the door. Research before you judge. Remember, war is a racket. Don't take my word for it. Check out General Smedley Butler and what he had to say. Over and out. Love you. Under 10 minutes. Yay.